So what's the Grape Explorer talking about today? So as you know, we are always on a journey to discover what we feel is great wine, especially French, because I do spend a lot of time uh, with, uh, you know, importing French wine and, you know, done quite a bit in, uh, in, in my history. But I'm going to explain a little bit of an area that I think is interesting because it is up and coming. It has been on the on the radar of a lot of uh, key retailers in the United States, but we're going to bring up a property that we are now involved with, and it's called Domaine du Belmont, and right here, and it's in the area of Picpoul. And Picpoul is interesting. It's a grape Picpoul that is um, definitely Mediterranean. You don't see too much of this uh, this grape in other regions of the world, but we're going to point it right out on our transit map, which we always love to see our transit map, and it's all the way down on the bottom, and you can see right here where Montpellier is, you know, this is the largest city in this area, and you have right here Picpoul de Pignet. And we're gonna talk about this uh, wine because again, we're gonna be doing uh, a business with this property, so we wanted to at least uh, highlight this property. But um, I also wanted to bring up an interesting aspect about France, because a lot of people don't understand French wines to a certain degree. There, there are two segments of the industry as what we call producers of France. One of them is a, a, a cooperative, and cooperative exists all over France. And basically, what a cooperative is, is basically a partnership between, it could be uh, 20 to 100 different growers of grapes. Now, a lot of these producers do not want to go to the expense of making wineries, and uh, it costs a lot of money to stainless steel fermentation, to hire a staff of people, you know. So usually the cooperative is what they call a cooperative between uh, people who, uh, a, they're, they're partners of the company. And in this area, they do have a very, very large cooperative. And so you might in the past have seen Picpool uh, to Pinay in the past, and it does come from the cooperative uh, to pick pool. But right next door to that property is a single domain that's owned by a family here, and this is called Domain de Belmar, which we're going to spend some time talking about today. And they specialize in pick pool de Pinay. And this is a beautiful grape, it actually you know has um, a, a lot of the things that I really, I really like, and I always explain to people. Um, because I love white wine. I'm very passionate about white wine. But again, I always say that, you know, some of the best white wines in all of the world, not just in France, are located along the ocean or the sea. And you can see this is right here. So what you get is you, you get these Mediterranean breezes that are coming in here, which causes the wine to have what we call this maritime influence. And the maritime influence has caused the wine to have a lot of salinity, and of course, this is uh, some mineral deposits here. This is limestone soils, perfect uh, climate to be producing uh, wines. But actually, the other, the other thing that's interesting about this wine and this area is it's the most famous area in, in certain, uh, in the area, especially in the Mediterranean, for oysters, because there's a, an area called the uh, Echan de Tau, which is the estuary, which is right in front of the vineyards here, and they have what's called oyster beds. So finest oysters that you would ever have. And of course, what goes with the oysters is this pick and pool. Uh, these wines are really good. And when I, when I say really good, it has all of that stone fruit that just leaps out of the glass. You get floral scents too. You get a lot of flowers that are in these wines. A, a really, really expressive style. You know, you can see the color. This is 2023. So look at this color. It's not completely different from Sauvignon Blanc. Look at the legs on this wine too. It's oozing with, uh, with richness in the style of this wine. Uh, it spends what they do is extended lees contact um, to make the wine creamy and rich. But uh, we're gonna taste the wine right now. Hmm. I can taste the mineral tone, that bright acidity. You get that salinity. Now I can see why it goes with the oysters because if anybody's ever had really briny oysters, you know, you need something to keep up with that salty, kind of saline, kind of briar, um, briary kind of like thoughts when you're having oysters and, and having these wines. But these are beautiful wines. I wanted to zoom in on Hugh Johnson. He did a, a great job of highlighting uh, this region of Pickpool. And actually you can see its proximity too. 
the, the basin here, which we call the Basin du Tau, which is the estuary I was talking about. These are the oyster beds right here. And these are considered some of the finest oysters in all of France. And again, you know, if anybody's ever in this region and you wanna to go to the Mediterranean or you wanna to go to Provence, very close, very close right here to Montpellier and right down here, and you, you can see it's very close also to Cote de Rhone area, but this is the Languedoc Pic Pool de Pinay. It's one of the finest white wines. These are great values. I also wanted to highlight the fact that, that Belmar just got noted. Uh, this wine right here got 92 points in Decanter Magazine, and it was, it was the highest rated Pic Pool in, uh, in, in the recent Decanter, and, and 92 points for a white wine, uh, especially from the Languedoc, is quite high. So when I, I was very excited not only to taste their wines, but also to le learn a little bit more about this area because I'm very passionate about white wine. I love whites, especially going with seafood and shellfish oysters I adore. So when I found out that this was a possibility to bring in, I was all over this. And I said, okay, we gotta, we got to really um, develop a, a good uh, structure behind these wines to educate people. And again, it's it's not that difficult to pronounce this, Pic Pool. And then that's the grape, and it's called Pic, Pic Pool Penang. And that is the region, that is the area. Again, this is the Grape Explorer. We're trying to highlight really terrific wines, and I think we brought one to the table today. Cheers.